Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a method to solve a system of linear equations by using Gauss elimination method. Now I'll show you what is a linear system of n equations. A linear system of n equations in n unknowns x1, x2, etc, xn is a set of equations of the form a11x1 plus a12x2 plus etc a1nxn equal to b1, a21x1 plus a22x2 plus etc a2nxn equal to b2, etc an1x1 plus an2x2 plus etc anxn equal to bn where these coefficients a i j and b k are any given numbers and this system is called homogeneous if all the b k are zero that means if all these b i's are zero then it is called a homogeneous system otherwise it is called non-homogeneous and also this set of equations you can return in the matrix form as a x is equal to b where a is the matrix a11 a12 etc a1 n etc this a n 1 a n 2 etc a n n and x is the vector x 1 x 2 etc x n and capital B is the set of vectors b 1 b 2 etc b n. The coefficient matrix A together with the constants B is called the augmented matrix that is augmented matrix means it will contain all the coefficients and together with the constants of this form. A solution of this set of equation is a set of numbers x1, x2, etc, xn that satisfy all the given n equations. Let's discuss the first method of solving a system of equation called Gauss elimination method. I'll show you with an example. Consider the system x8 x2 plus 2 x3 equal to minus 7, 3 x1 plus 5 x2 plus 2 x3 equal to 8, 6 x1 plus 2 x2 plus 8 x3 equal to 26. So first we have to write the augmented matrix A tilde which is equal to A together with B. A means the coefficient matrix here the coefficient of x1 is 0, x2 is 8, 2 you have to write the constant term also minus 7 then the second row will be 3 5 2 together with 8 6 2 8 together with 26 so this is the augmented matrix now you can you have to make a triangular system this you have to convert to a triangular system for that all the elements under a11 should be 0. So here the term a11 is 0 so it's better you interchange any two rows so that you have to get this as a non-zero number. So first I'll interchange row 3 and row 1 so you can write this as 6, 2, 8, 26. Second row is same 3, 5, 2, 8 and the last row 0, 8, 2 minus 7. So here we just interchange row 1 and row 3. Now we have to make this a triangular system means all these three should be 0. The terms under a11 and a22 should be 0. So you can see that here it is 3. So for that you have to use the first row to make this 3 as 0. Now, if you take the row operation, R2 will take R2, R2 minus R1. So, you can see 2 R2, if you multiply here with 2, this will become 6. Then if you subtract from first row, 6 minus 6 will become 0. So, you have to make this term 0. So, if you take this row operation, you will get the matrix. The first row is same, 6, 2, 8, 26. Second, this will become 6 minus 6, 0. This is 2 into 5, 10. 10 minus 2, 8. Here, 4 minus 8, minus 4. And here, 2, 80, 2 into 8, minus 26 is minus 10. And third row, already this is 0. So, we don't have to do anything. Already it is 0. So, the same row will come. Okay. Now we have to make this term also 0. So this is 8 and for that you have to use the second row. 
so see this is 8 this is also 8 so if you just subtract r3 and r2 you can make this as 0 so if you change r3 as r3 minus r2 the first row is same 6 2 8 26 second row is also same 0 8 minus 4 minus 10 and third row this is 0 minus 0 8 minus 8 2 minus minus 4 is 6 minus 7 minus minus 10 is 3 so don't forget you have to do the same operation in this column also so you got a triangular system all the elements under a11 is 0 then under a22 is also 0 now we have to do a back substitution method for back substitution you have to give back the values of x1 x2 and x3 in this system so if you give this it will become 6 x1 plus 2 x2 plus 8 x3 equal to 26 and the second row will become 8 x2 minus 4 x3 equal to minus 10 and the third row will become 6 x3 equal to 3 from equation 3 we will get the value of x3 so you can say 6 x3 equal to 3 so x3 will be 3 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 now this value of x3 you can substitute in equation x2 to get the value of x2. So it will become equation 2 will become 8x2 minus 4x3. x3 is 1 by 2 equal to minus 10. So if you check this you will get the value of x2 as 8x2 is equal to minus 10 plus 2. This is minus 8. So x2 will be minus 8 by 8 is minus 1. Now we can substitute the value of x3 and x2 in equation 1. So 6x1 plus 2x2, x2 is minus 1 plus 8x3, x3 is 1 by 2 which is equal to 26. So 6x1 is equal to 26, this 2 will become plus 2, this is 4. So minus 4 24 so you can see that the value of x1 is 24 by 6 which is equal to 4 so we got the solution as x1 is equal to 4 x2 equal to minus 1 and x3 equal to 1 by 2 so, so the solution can be written as x is equal to 4 minus 1 1 by 2